entered the harbor here. They can't turn me into the marina like this. She's going to have to detach the tow line. They're going to pump up their rib and come get me. All right, that didn't work. Are you okay? So we are at the hospital. Hazel's pushing off, engine's fixed, and she's headed back to Aviles again. We're gonna stay here and um, figure out what we're doing. It's a beautiful day for a sail. Yeah. Or, so or a motor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday and have a great sale. Let's just try to do that. And let's running it for like what, 35, 40 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And send us messages. Let us know yeah. what happens. Let us yeah. know how you're doing. Definitely. Along the way, if you had service, would be great. But definitely when you get there, let us know. You're going to have a great sale. <laughs> Slash motor. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to go well. Have a great sail! This is the marina here in Gijon and we are right over there. There is an industrial area kind of all all right here and there is some sort of a, I don't know, at night you can see it. It's not like a smokestack, but there's some sort of a, a fire, like a controlled tower fire thing. And then apparently there is a forest fire 50 kilometers from here. So the deck was covered in a bit of this black stuff. You almost couldn't see it, but then you'd walk and your feet would just be black. So Drake gave it a rinse off and looks like the trash is ready to go. So I'm gonna take that out and do one or two more things and then we should be ready to go. I lied. You can totally see the black stuff. The other days it wasn't so bad, but look at that. Today is Friday the 13th of October and we are in a marina in the city of Gijon, Spain right here and today we're actually going to go east <laughs> about 130 nautical miles to a city called Bilbao where we are planning to anchor down in here so we're going to be pushing off momentarily the last time I checked the weather was 11 hours ago I am going to now download a new forecast we are pushing off today as early as 11 30 today the 13th departure planning we're using the marina's Wi-Fi, but once we get offshore, if we need to get a new weather report, then I will hopefully be able to use our cell phone data. And if not, then we will use our Iridium Go. There we go. So the table says that it's going to take us 1.07 days to get there. A little bit of motoring, max wind speed 23 knots, 0% upwind. I like that. 74% of the wind between 8 and 20 knots. We got some waves. Let's look at the map can judge the wind strength by the color. 
First boat pushes off at 11.30 and the other boats push off an hour behind. You can see that we've got wind off of our starboard aft quarter of about 17 knots. So we are flying out of the gate. And continuing on, the wind speed there is 15 knots and we are now uh, more dead downwind. So I probably won't go dead downwind. I'll probably go a little bit more offshore to the north so that we can not accidentally jibe. We keep going. Wind strength here is coming down to 11 knots. And then, oh, looks like we've come down five knots. I'd hate to have to motor from this point forward, but maybe that's what's in the cards here. The first boat arrives at 12.18. That assumes the boat maintains a speed of five knots. If we push off as late as 2.30, then the last boat arrives at 3.30. So it's not critical, I think, that we leave at 11.30. We got like a four hour window here to push off in, uh, giving us plenty of time to spare to make our arrival. Oh, no. I hate to motor, I hate to motor, I hate all motoring, but we'll see. Let's look at the rain situation because we've got it. Here's pushing off with the rain so rain out of the gate and following us we are in the band of rain <laughs> by yeah and the whole time wow <laughs> great <laughs> uh the entirety of this sail is going to be with some rain and if you want to see the cloud coverage yep we have a hundred percent cloud coverage for the entirety of our sail so not a beautiful, fun sail, <laughs> but at least we got wind, at least in the first half of the voyage. Did I download the wave report? I did. All right, so what's going on with waves? At least it looks like the waves are going to be from behind. I'll take it. All right, so that's forecast. We can look at a different weather model, maybe. What does ECMWF show? Probably shows the same thing because all the weather models typically agree when you're down to the last. Oh no, wow. ECMWF is saying that we have less wind out of the gate, but still very little wind towards the end. But that's interesting. Out of the gate, ECMWF is showing that. PWG is showing that. They are way not in agreement. PWE shows a lot of wind. PWG shows wind. PWE is actually showing 25 knots. GFS is showing none. So either we have like little to no wind out of the gate or we are being slammed with wind. We don't know. This is uh, what it can be like. We're gonna be motoring towards the end. Not happy, not happy. Uh, so the larger topic is that this is happening, and this is looking pretty gnarly. On the 18th, Moe's brother is coming to visit us on the 18th. Maybe it's going to be really windy on the 18th, or maybe the 17th, I think he said. We'll see. Okay, let's get out of here. We're pushing off in heavy rain, and I have to pressure wash the deck before we go, because... There's something burning off of the city here. It creates a lot of soot, and it got all over the boat last night, especially last night, and I want to get it off. Yeah, look at this. It's just the soot all over the deck. Not good. We have finished filling the water tank because it's starting to overflow. <laughs> these are all on. Uh, I'm going to turn that on. And now 
I'll turn on everything else. The Navnet, the AIS, DHF, the autopilot, it all gets turned on now. I don't turn it on before I start the engine because when you restart the engine, it actually resets a lot of things. Just kind of save an extra step by waiting to turn everything on until after the engine is on. Watch out, slippy steps. Want a bite? Ooh. A lot of mayo. Ham and cheese. All right, instruments are on, NAPNET on, AHF on, freshwater off, CPT autopilot on, also the AIS, so that'll start firing up. We're gonna run the engine, usually for about 10 to 15 minutes to warm it up, and that gives all of the instruments a chance to fire up as well. And I think Drake is disconnecting us from shore power. I'm just about ready to go. We're going to do the same kind of getting out of here maneuver as, as we usually do getting out of Stormway with me on the bow, pushing the stern out. Cool, cool. You with the helm. Let's do it. All right, time, time to get out of here. Engine's warmed up. Okay. So it was like 215. What, for this last day? I didn't think it'd be that much. How much was yeah, it? I think it was nine days. Wow, that went by fast. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on the boat. Are you in reverse? All right, my helm. Okay, underway. Uh, handheld VHF. Oh man, I didn't spray down the solar panels. I should have. Because they're dark, I didn't realize that they're caked with coal dust. We are leaving the city of Gihon with the marvelous beach down there. And the city of restaurants. Four foot depth right there. We're currently in 12 feet, all is well. You can see there's a ship being towed out there as in a freighter ship with tugboats towing it. We're getting kind of spotty GPS reception. My speed over ground keeps switching to zero and our position stops updating. And a few seconds later, then we get speed and then it updates the position. Can we to take over? Sure. Bearing to the next waypoint is 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. All yours. We've got a swimmer in the water right there and a whole bunch of birds having a meeting. So, oh, especially in these harbors, you gotta keep an eye out for people you might hit. <laughs> we call this meeting today to discuss the situation with the fish. Oh, never mind. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>
away from Pihon and we're still exiting the harbor. There is almost no wind. That's going to change apparently. So it will be coming up. But this harbor is a real shipping area. Look at the chart plotter. One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, forty. Lots of boats. Lots of boats. This is the actual harbor, but this is out side of the harbor. Like that. That's so weird because we are underway. I feel a little bit of wind coming from ahead of us. It's not just apparent wind. There is wind yeah. off the bow. You can see the windex at the top there showing it's coming from directly ahead. But I just downloaded the weather and all the weather models agree that the wind should actually be coming from behind us pulling out of the harbor. So what's up with that the wind's supposed to be coming from behind us and it's coming from ahead of us in any case i think i should put the main up and we'll just let it flog in the middle and assume that pretty soon things are going to change actually i think i can see on the horizon the change in the water and that's probably wind and it's probably coming from behind so i'm going to put the main up as for the rest of the voyage it still looks pretty much like what we were looking at before downwind port broad reach and uh, coming in in calm conditions at least according to PWG PWE says higher wind from behind Trevor broad reach downwind port broad reach calm wind yeah we're gonna get there long before sunset word of the day it's an English word paltritude physical beauty, paltritude. He saw beyond her obvious paltritude and spent time getting to know her. What is it? Paltritude. No, what's physical? Beauty, physical beauty. You've got some paltritude. You know what I'm saying? But you got some paltritude, I'm telling you. Uh, actually, you can have that if you want it. Now I'm, I'm done. Okay, so we went from no wind, no wind, no wind to now we're on a beam reach. I'm gonna put the sail up. Yeah, not much wind, but enough to fill the sail. All right, main's going up. Put up a full main. Yeah, the, the forecast is not, like the winds we're seeing are not what's in the forecast, which is really weird. Great arrays. Great arrays! I might ask you to go into the wind. Actually, why don't we do that? Take off the autopilot and, uh, and, uh, actually, no, never mind. Just keep maintaining course, never mind. Raising it now. Give me some slack in the main. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, never mind. Uh, Bring it in a little bit. Disengage the autopilot and go into the eye of the wind.
pull. Uh, hey, uh, turn around now. 180. Low pull in the water. All right, never mind. It's gone. It's gone. Too late. Get back on course. Are you in neutral? Yeah. Cut the engine then. We're at 4.3, 4.6. Yeah, we'll be more once I put the jib out, but we can cut the engine now. All right. Yeah, cut the engine. Me? Yeah. Uh. That kind of came up right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll get stronger than this. I'll put out some jib, but we won't need much to make our speed. What's our speed? Uh, actually, can I have the chart plotter app, the phone? Can you give me 10 degrees to starboard? 10 degrees? Yeah. Oh. We're sailing, we might as well start going towards our destination. What's the matter? Yeah, it will be. You wanna close up the conning tower? The what? I call it the conning tower. What do you call it? The conning tower? Yeah, like on a submarine. Oh. The tower that they all get out. It's just yeah, that I'm getting rained all over my face. Do you want to close that up? All right, I'm 20 degrees to starboard. Probably going to take the main down, just put out the jib. Okay, this is not going to work for us. We're going to have to take the main down. <laughs> what is that funny sound? The main's making some weird noise. Yeah, it's coming from the main. I don't know what it is. But I don't like it. Let's hope that losing that boat pole overboard is the only Come on, Trish. is the Trish. only Friday the thirteenth bad on. luck we're gonna have today. Nah, that we got we got rid of it. Definitely coming from the main, but for the life of me, I I don't know what it is. Can you undo the port side jib sheet? Make sure it can go free. I might as well put uh, either take the main down or put a double reef in. Well, sure, it's nothing to be too concerned about. All right, I'm on deck. 